how would you like to learn how to make a billion dollars off your name today? Well, in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about is how to build your personal brand. As a matter of fact, there's not really anything to build. So a common misconception about brand is that it's this like thing that you build. That it's like something separate from who you are that like you got to like figure out, well, what is it going to be? How am I going to build it? Like, what am I going to make it look like? It's not the case. So by and large, for most people, a personal brand is the route to go. Why? I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, Conor McGregor. Why think about the name Conor McGregor? What is he known for? Fighting and proper 12. Can someone explain to me why his company, I believe that he exited his company for 600 million. Is it was his whiskey that good that that was what he deserved to exit for? I don't know. I can't tell you. I haven't had proper 12. I would imagine it probably tastes like most whiskeys. Yet he was able to generate 600 million dollars off of it. Was it because his whiskey was that good? No, of course not. It's because his name was that good. His personal brand was that good. Controversial or not, he brought in you know, he brought in audience. He made money. And so by attaching his name to a company, he made a lot of money. You can think of another name. You know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He opened up a tequila brand. What was that valuation? Three to four billion dollars. Oh, Kylie Jenner made a billion dollars off of makeup. There's so many of these cases that most p common people would go, I have no idea why they just made a billion dollars off of that. Their stuff isn't even that good. It's because it ain't about that. Let me remove the veil. It's not about that. Okay, so let me give you an example. Brand. So my brand, who I am, my name is Jarrett Roten. My mission is to eradicate child sex trafficking off of the face of the earth. My second mission is to eradicate poverty from the face of the earth. Cool thing is if I can eradicate poverty off the face of the earth, it makes eradicating child sex trafficking a lot easier because people will have the resources to defend themselves, vigilance, you know, all of these things in terms of education. Well, I can help fund that because as a result of helping people, you make money. Another thing is I am a Christian. I am a Christian entrepreneur. To me, the Bible is a book about business. God, our father, is a businessman. There's no merchant, there's no one on earth who has scales and weights that is not a merchant of some form. We just happen to correlate that with a drug dealer. In the past, that wouldn't have been the case. I mean, maybe some places, but by and large, it would have been, well, here's the balance. Here's the weights. Now you're, we're going to measure out how many shekels or silver or gold we're going to trade in exchange for these goods. The Bible is a book about business. Business is the way that you, we can escape the beast system. We can, ex we can actually enter into freedom and choose which master we're going to serve. Whoever controls your time is your master. And so if you work a job, and they get to determine, hey, uh, yeah, you need to be here at 8 a.m. on Monday. If you're five minutes late again, you're fired. Congratulations, you just found your master. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people just want to think that, oh, God only cares about the spiritual. Except for the very first line in the Bible is that God created the heaven and the earth. Which would also mean that's separate from the kingdom of God. Because God existed outside of, exists outside of time. So in the beginning signifies the beginning of this heaven and this earth, not the kingdom of God in and of itself, which is eternal. Okay. You're getting an idea of who my brand is. I'm actually, I'm really good at sales. I help, I train people in sales. I understand advertising, how to add value to people and you provide value for free so that people can go out and make money with it. What does that do? Oh, that also helps my mission, right? Okay, so we're starting to get an idea of what a brand is, okay? It's who we are. Here's a nice thing. Not everybody's mission is going to be the same. And every single person and you have a special and a unique gift. You're good at something that I'm not. You carry a gift that I don't have. Yet that same gift is meant to be shared. It's meant to be shared with 
the people. Here's what's really cool. Um, for those of you who study you know, any sort of economics, like I'll talk about emerging markets for a second. Social media has made it so that even a person who is in a, an emerging market who has a phone with internet connection to make a significant amount of money. And I'm not even talking like needing to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. You know, I, well, one of my, one of my good friends lives in Nigeria. If he makes $800 a month, he's a happy camper. So if that means that we can grow a following for him and he can pocket $2,000 a month, whoa, hold up, time out, what's going on? His life is, it, he's living a significantly different life. For something that if we only made $2,000 in America, we'd go, oh my goodness gracious, what is happening? So how do we make money with brand? Okay, there's really three main ways, at least to me. So first and foremost, our brand is who we are. Okay, we have to define that. Our brand is nothing more than who we are and our story. Okay, brand isn't something that we build. Brand is something that we develop. Brand is something that we refine, okay? What does that look like? That looks like, you know, reading books or, you know, taking courses or going through coaching programs or getting a mentor. All these things are the development or the refinement of our brand, right? We already carry our story. We already carry the things that we you know, have gone through. It's not like we need to go out and I need to define my brand. It's going to be this so that I can serve these types of people. You're built to serve who you're built to serve. And the shepherd and the sheep know their shepherd's voice. So the people that you're called to serve are going to know the voice of the shepherd through you. Okay? All right, so we develop who we are. We need to become the person who can actually share our gift at a high level. Okay, what happens next? There are three ways to really leverage your brand. Okay, number one is content, just like this. This is probably, this is gonna be um, the most democratized way. This is gonna be the, I will say, easiest entry rather than the two others, which are product or service. All of these things are expressions of who we are, okay? When we build products and we build services and we develop our content from who we are, we create a far better product. We create a far better service. We create far better content. Why? Because you can hear my heart. We'll hear your heart. Okay? And so this is the, what I'll call the refinement period. Because the first thing that we're going to put out, just like anything we do to start, probably isn't going to be very good. And that's okay. Because we have to refine it. And then we just keep getting better over time. We refine and refine, refine, refine and develop and add. And, oh, I didn't know that. So I'm going to add more stuff and I'm going to pull in from here. Oh, now I have a little bit of extra resources. So now I'm going to be able to do this and I'm going to be able to do that. What this allows us to do is it refines our brand even further. Okay. So as we are sharing our content, as we're expressing ourselves through products and services, we're also refining our brand. So this is, this is actually when we develop these things for others, we become better. We become more refined. We become more valuable. And our gift gets more widely shared because it, at the end of the day, we have who we are, we have our expression, and then we have number three, which is audience. Everything, this entire creation is around relationship. So audience, just think of audience as the people that you're sharing your gift with or the gift you're the, the people that you're sharing your product with or your service with or your content with. It's just who you're sharing it with. This is how, this is the line one of the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, relationship. In the beginning, God created, so God's a creator which means it's probably important for us to also create if we're made in his image, which is content, products, and services, which are just an expression of who we are, of our story, of our being. 
the heavens and it made the created the heavens and the earth. A relationship. He made, the first thing that he created was a relationship. Beautiful. So now we can use this same exact model as how we're going to share with people. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to become the person and develop who I am and refine who I am, figure out a, a, a great way to express who I am in a way that helps and serves and adds value to people. That sounds simple enough. I will say it's it's simple, it's not easy. So on my entrepreneurial journey, it has been overwhelming at times. It's been disappointing at times. It hasn't always been profitable. But I'm better than I've ever been. I'm a different person. I don't know how to explain it. The refining process of becoming an entrepreneur is unique because you're faced with, at least in my experience, faced with your inadequacies. I'll tell you a quick story. So I came in. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Like people are making money. I met enough people who were like less talented than me, less skilled than me. Um, not as smart as me who were making eight figures. I saw them and I was like, wait a second, you guys are able to do it. Okay. If you guys can do it, anyone can do it. And so I started along my journey. I started reading all my books and I started, I created a course and I went out and I was like, okay, you know what? It's time. It's ready. Like I read all the books. I did all this stuff. Like, let's do this thing. And mind you, I was applying a lot of what I was learning as I was reading because that's the best way to learn is to actually do it. So I turn on my ads and I'll tell you, I spent like $350 and generated one email. Like I spent 350 bucks and generated an email. That's it. For those of you who aren't familiar with very with business, that's not very good. That's not good at all. Like some businesses, it's 50 bucks an appointment. I didn't even make it that far. I generated one email. And so I was humbled very quickly that, okay, this isn't necessarily as easy as I thought it was going to be. But what happened next? I started buying more books. And figuring out like, dude, I suck at lead generation. I am not good at marketing. I thought I kind of understood it. I thought I was just going to turn this thing on and it was going to run. No, that's not how it works. And so I, I bought some books and then I read those books. And then as I was reading, so I finished, you know, uh, $100 million offers by Alex Hermosi. It helped me get my offer in alignment. And then I was reading my, his $100 million leads book. And it dawned on me, wait a second. Do build audience. And he talks about it in his book, but like, it was just like the light bulb went off. You know, audience is everything. If I can build audience, then lead generation doesn't even really matter because I just have a pool of people who will love what I have because I've shared so much value with me, that with them that they can't help but want to buy from me. And so I was going through the book and part of the way through, I, I go, okay, I got I to gotta buy a book on audience. And so I didn't finish, which I don't recommend. You want to keep the momentum, side note, you want to keep the momentum when you're reading books. You want to like read a book all the way through to completion because there's just like something about the completion, just the way that like God does things, right? On the first, you know, God created the light and so divided the light from the darkness and there was morning and evening the first day. There's something about com going so uh, um, completing something that just like adds momentum to, to what you're doing. And so I made the mistake. I bought another book. It's got 100 million followers by Brendan Kane. Fantastic. Oh, it's a fantastic book. It's probably 100 pages too long, but he's got a lot of stories in there. I highly recommend it to everybody. Inside this book, I realized, oh, wait a second. Audience, it's not just audience. It's actually brand. I learned through reading and doing and sucking that, wait a second, I need to develop my brand, but I didn't even know what a brand was. And then in one line, your brand is who you are. I go, of course. It's not, um, you know, Sandler by McGraw-Hill, like, you know, how to how to uh, teach a kid to read a, uh, ride a bicycle or 
Rather, you can't teach a kid to ride a bike at a seminar by Sandler and like McGraw Hill. Like that's not what a brand is. A brand is who I am. And that makes things far easier in terms of developing content and developing products and developing services because it's who I am. It's from my heart. It, and I'm able to tell that real story as opposed to just creating something for what the market, right? All that to say, if you start on this journey, which I highly recommend you do, I highly recommend you start on this entrepreneurial journey because it will give you freedom. You don't have to create a product and you don't have to create a service. My recommendation is brand content audience. That would be the business model. Develop and become the person who creates the content that is incredibly valuable, that it can't help but build audience. And then read books on audience, read books on brand, because it's going to make your life a lot easier. And then one day, you'll be making so much money off of your content and all of your other stuff that you'll look back and go, I don't need my job anymore. And I love to do this. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you see how you can develop your brand in such a way, refine your brand in such a way that you can make a billion dollars just off of who you are. And all of us have that within us. There's nothing inherently special about Conor McGregor. There's nothing inherently special about Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Kylie Jenner or you know, any of those, the influence or your Jake Paul. There's nothing inherently special about them. They're a person who has a gift. They just figured out if I build my brand and to create an audience so large that it doesn't matter I will, might as well be King Midas because everything I'm going to touch will turn to gold. So I pray that you're blessed. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And go out there and change some lives. Take care. Bye now.